E aí pessoal, beleza? Vamos continuar aqui com Wolf Among Us. História das fábulas numa uma visão diferente aqui. Beleza? Vamos embora. Esse jogo aqui consigo rodar em 4K. Eu The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. And she was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than me. It was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Dá uma olhada aqui nesse livro das fábulas. Opa, calma, cara, tá bem sensível, mouse. Olho de neve com os anões meio endiabrados. Caminhador, wolf. Bela é fera. Um sapinho, um prefeito, cavaleiro sem cabeça. Espelho mágico. Mir, mir, blá, blá, able, blá, 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice in phrasing. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me 
Faith's father, the old king. Crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. <laughs> Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. No, you didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Vou ajudar o sapo lá. O sapo tá no senha. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. You can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! Case okay. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. I don't even remember half of this shit. in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? 
<laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. I'll be out of here in a minute. Just want to check things out. Tá escondendo right, alguma coisa, right. o sapo. I just don't want to waste your time, so. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Aconteceu alguma coisa aqui que ele não quer falar. Eu acho que o guruzinho sabe. Am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Mm. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Blood, you know what happened, don't no. There's marks here on the window, sir. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Or after you came in the window. 
after, after. I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things have been, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? No hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. I think my junior has a crush on you, girl. Toad, I know you're lying about the lamp. The lamp fell, is all. I bumped it. Coming, coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and through the thing. That's what happened, isn't it?
Why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Why haven't you fixed this? Anyone on the street could just walk right in. There's better priorities than busted doorknobs. And who's gonna come in and take anything? There's nothing to take. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... Please, just bugger off. Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me head. I broke the lamp. I forgot my keys, so I climbed the sill. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Well, thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya.
does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Cara tá morto, pô. Vou espiar o quê? Get Dr. Swine on. I'll stay with no. you. No! No! Let me go. Tá vivo ainda. Oh. She... What is it that you're telling us? Oh. Oh. Bigby, water. Kitchen. have that letter? Yes. It's only two words. But he died without seeing him. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Strange, hard-edged 
edge of this pool like something was here and got moved. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Yeah, police. Stay here. No. Sustuka. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. da mãe. Eu apertei. Hey! Easy. 
up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. And who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trick trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Fear that mine. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. The guy, I mean guys who attacked me, D and Dumb, they've got something to do with all this. You think so? I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, it's a hunch. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. We'll fix it. I don't know. It's just... 
The broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard. We have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. That's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I just be careful, please. Same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, Feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it. I'm good at picking up on this stuff. A 
most duels in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something? Or you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was alright. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Paper towels in the number one or number two. For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. I'm not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. Okay, Greg. It's funny, just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. The money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. Didn't look like it. She had money. get up the nerve to do it. There you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? I mean, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, they were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. And I played along as long as I could. The only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? 
Big B, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lap dog. When he comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lap dog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <coughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh. Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
this never happened. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Caraca. Mas eu fui atrás do dele porque eles me bateram. Você tinha que escolher. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Que merda. Matar a Branca de Neve. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you. Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. These are you. Você deu dinheiro para a Fate e o é você e 84% dos jogadores deram dinheiro para ela. O 
Você contou a verdade para besta sobre Beauty e você não contar a verdade. Onde decidiu você ir primeiro? Você uh, help Toad before Prince Lance. Eu ajudar o, to, o sapo. O que aconteceu com o personagem? Eu did not prevent o personagem de Você não preveniu a morte dele. Use your prime suspect. 15, 22, 13%. Quem é esse carinha aqui? Não sei ainda. Tá. Os irmãos de. Quem você prendeu? Você prendeu o de Dig. É, eu escolhi o, os irmãos Tweedledee. Beleza. É isso aí pessoal, final do primeiro episódio de The Wolf Gang. Aí, já aquecimento aí para a segunda temporada que foi anunciado para esse ano aí, para quem não acompanha aí, para quem gosta desse tipo de esse estilo de jogo, né? A Telltale ela tinha falido, né? A Telltale, tá des... ah, não sei, a empresa que faz esse tipo de jogo tinha falido. E uma outra empresa assumiu aí e vai terminar os jogos. Beleza? É, Telltale Games, isso. Ela faliu. Né? E. Esqueci o nome da empresa que ia. Mas não tem problema. O importante é que vai ter a segunda temporada. Essa história aí das fábulas. Num tema mais adulto, né? Pô, é um mundo que tem muito o que explorar, né? A pena aí ter só a primeira temporada. Mas vamos embora aí, rumo ao segundo episódio. Thank you. 